Hey folks, I'm Vicente, we're going to play Beholder by Wamlam Games. It's a bit in the vein of game like Pepper Please, with a pretty heavy theme. You are going to play as a landlord, which is going to be appointed by the state, which is pretty authoritarian, to spy on his tenant. And what you are going to do with the information you are going to gather of them is entirely up to you. So you might want to spare a neighbors, which is going to be good with you, but maybe you need the money to do something very important and you, you are going to be able to, to sell him and it's going to be entirely up to you and it's very very interesting and let's just begin a new game and let's just... I've been finishing the game once already and depending on what you do you are, you are not going to actually experience the same thing and I'm not sure it's going to be uh, playable a lot of time because the story of the neighbors is not changing but there is quite a bit of stuff to discover nonetheless so let's just begin dear Carl Stein we are happy to announce you've been appointed the landlord of a class D apartment block in Crushfest 6 you must go there immediately and begin walking we have given you and your family an apartment on the first floor the experimental drug we inject injected you into, uh, in your, into your system during your medical exam suppress your need for sleep so you will be the only character not to sleep in this story thus uh, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland welcome to the elite official rank ministry of allocation so basically we've got a son a daughter and a wife we need to keep alive it's a bit like in paper please as i was saying and we don't really need to feed them there is still uh, we need to give them a bit of money to survive but it is not as heavy at the beginning but you need to be careful because it might surprise you it's going to increase in difficulty pretty quickly so let's just go for this dear carl stein we are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the class d apartment okay maybe i should not have read that <laughs> sorry about that i forgot the way Actually, you must arrive that. there immediately and start working. I quite like the, the art because even though it's a bit dark, it's not that dark. There is a um, something which is going to make the thing a bit lighter. I really like the the way it's looking. And every single character is going to. Be quite different. Been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. And even though it's quite dark, there is a lot of things which seems to be a bit absurd. And which are going to kind of make you a bit smile. I'm not sure I can say that because it is still quite heavy. But it is a very enjoyable game. I really like it. Okay, here is the place we're going to take care of. Okay, so this is the previous landlord. It is what we need to avoid at all costs. Welcome to the elite official rank. Ministry there we go. of Allocation. It is definitely true, but it is not that much of an issue. You can find you they are not going to be that difficult to to keep happy. The, the game is not really demanding the way you're going to tend to apartment and stuff. It is more to, more about spying and stuff. Okay, so uh, this is your boss. Click on him. Okay, we're just going to do that. Ooh, I've been doing the tutorial already, so we'll just go quickly through that and we'll just uh, make a little stop to explain how everything is going to work. So let's just. Uh, I did not read, but I think I'm going to agree with him because why would I? object right now it's going to be too dangerous uh, so let's just keep going so what I need to do which is very important I need to respond to the phone all the time because the ministry can call me and I cannot not respond so let's just keep going and become an outlaw 
so everything i need to be aware of everything and to do that i will have uh, plenty of tools to do uh, with and uh, like cameras and i've got a, a bunch of things i should maybe speak of sooner because even though i realize the game there is a bunch of things which are sometimes a bit annoying so let's just keep going they're giving me a bit of camera uh, let's just decline i don't want to do the chart again let's just go through it and i will explain you everything let's just keep going quickly okay let's just pause the game all right and let's just make a quick run of these menus here so these are your basic uh, let's say um, this is where you are going to store your information you are going to get plenty of interesting there is only four pages here but you've got other pages which are going to be within so here is basically your quest journal so you will see uh, everything you need to do and most of the quests are time limited so you need to be careful not to let these things just um, go out without being done and let's just go for the second the second one is going to be very important it's going to tell you uh, who you have in your apartment and also um, this apartment you are going to be able to to rent as well and to repair and stuff and more important you are going to be able to click on people and you will see the information you've been collecting so you can learn a bit more about people and the evidence you, you are going to collect which are going to enable you to do terrible things to this case uh, anyway let's go back there is uh, for now five five people in there and you will need to spy on them quite a bit so let's just go around here so this is the thing i was speaking about which was a bit absurd but also a bit funny so every few days you are going to have things which are going to be forbidden like for now i've got only things which are going to be very uh, dreadful like uh, crimes and, and, and other things like this but at some point you are going to be seeing things like apples which are going to be forbidden or, or the thing like this which you can use to your advantage as well if you want to maybe uh, you can you can hide an apple in the apartment of somebody and just make him arrest and stuff like this it's a very very interesting and the last one is i'm just going to check this again after a while because i've got nothing in there uh, and i don't remember what it was about so let's just advance a bit it will be clear soon so the second thing you've got is your inventory here so for now i've got nothing but i can have cameras i can still see things from apartment and other things and let's just go back so and okay let's just take a look at the quest so I need to set my desk and get the cameras and come back. Okay, good. Let's go for this. So this is my home. Only this area plus the, the office here. The other area on the left are going to be shared with other people. And let's just pick up these things. And let's pick up two of these cameras. Let's just take it all. So. One of the grip I've got with this game is that you cannot drag and drop, it would be very very handy to move this thing around a bit more easily. And you cannot pause the game with space, I would definitely like to be, these are only minor grips, but I would definitely like to be able to pause the game with space because sometimes it's just going too fast, there's plenty of things which are happening. And going to click there, there it's not really um, efficient. Okay, so great, you found the cameras, install them in the dining hall, okay let's let's go. So we're going to go in the in the common room here and we're going to install two cameras. There is always a bunch of places where you can install these, so these are in the fire alarm, so I'm going to put one of there over there here. And you can remove them and you don't want the people to discover where you're going to put these cameras. I'm going to put the second one here because I can. And I I'm not going to be satisfied, but might be good enough. Okay, here we go. And it's going to give me a bunch, a bit of money, and the second one is kind of reputation, so you are going to use that to buy cameras, but also to, let's say, unlock secrets. So if you just speak to people, they might be unwilling to tell you anything if you don't have the right amount of reputation, of reputation which is going to be used like money, kind of. So my next quest is to talk to my boss, so it's going to give me more things to do so you receive surveillance camera as you earn repetition points as i was speaking of repetition points show your standing with the public you receive them for completing task and just advance a bit more okay let's take a look at the quest and i would like to show you the the meat of the, of the game as quickly as possible so uh, 
I'll do my best. Let's just not piece of the ministry. I don't want to see it coming. <laughs> I'm not sure. We, we will see how we are going to, to play this. So I've got the key to every single apartment. I, I can enter into them, but I need to be careful. I, I don't want to be spotted. Okay, so here we begin. And my quest here is going to call the ministry. They're not allowing me for now to check the other apartment because I've got a bunch of tasks task to uh, get used to the, the place. But as I've been skipping the tutorial, I don't really understand why they're just um, stopping me from doing other things. Okay, so let's just say I'm ready for the task and let's begin. So I need to establish surveillance in apartment 2. The apartment of Jacob, Jacob Manishak, and I need to buy a bunch of cameras to to install these in, in there. Okay, here we go. So we can see the whole thing. So for now, we don't really see so much. We'll need to install plenty of cameras to be able to spot this apartment. And let's just pause the game for a sec. These three apartments are going to be uh, possible to, to rent as well. You just need to get enough money to repair these and then to find the right uh, people to put in there. But there is not so many people to put in there. So uh, generally speaking, you might want to maybe focus on a bunch of people. Plus they are not giving you money for your rent. Or at least I did not notice it was not really that much. So you don't want to hurry too much. You just want to be very careful not to let these people leave before you maybe um, get a better look into their, their life kind of and you you might want to learn who they are first before you do anything else so you might want to speak to them you you want to be searching their stuff to add cameras to really be aware of what they like to do and stuff and from that you can decide what you are going to do with them kind of Okay, let's go back and let's just speak to a bunch of people. I've got... Oh, I missed her. So, Maria Shimmer here, which we're going to talk to. And let's introduce yourself. So, get acquainted here. And hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager here. It's nice to meet you. I'm Maria Shimmer. Uh, did you bring your family here? We just moved in. It would be nice to meet you. So, we are done with that. We can go through the dialogue multiple times if you are missing something anyway let's just uh, take a look in there i've got oh so these two people are now out of here I, mi I might want to just take a look in their apartment i know there are only two people in there so let's just take a look here and if i just see her coming back i might be willing to run out of here so let's just take a look at what at their belonging at their belonging and i might want to also buy a little camera here or oh, maybe it's a waste you can still stir, but it is not necessary. Let's just take information about them. When it is in red, you can learn it and put it in your, let's say, proof inventory. And when you've got a bunch of proof, you can actually go back to your desk and write a profile. So let's just do that. We've been learning a bunch of things about, about the shimmer. And let's just take a look. So that was my, that's my mistake. I made a mistake here. Oh, it's not possible yet. Okay. So today I've got a bunch of things which are now forbidden. Uh, let's see. Uh, propaganda, uh, role of public are forbidden and um, making propaganda poster is forbidden. So only the state can do it. And if you find some of these at somewhere, someone else's place, it is uh, forbidden. Let's just take a look in there. Do we have somebody here? Not so much. I'm not really willing to spend too much money on cameras which are not going to be useful because the little camera are just so bad it is a bit of a waste. So where is Renek? I, yeah, has he left? I'm going to knock so I can see if there is somebody in there. Okay, no, there is nobody. So let's just take a look here. Need to be careful about the bus because they might come back soon. And do we have somebody down there? No. Let's just take a look in there. Let's get a bunch more proof. I need to search apartment too, so I should go there. Let's just hurry quickly. I can run as well, so if I need to rush out, I can do it quickly. Like that. So good. Okay, let's just take a look at apartment two and let's try to do the quest in a timely manner. So, do we have anybody in there? Let's just knock and introduce ourselves to the people which are living here. 
Okay, nobody in there. Let's just take a look in there. And let's just search a bunch of things. So what do we have in there? Okay, nothing in the TV. Let's just search. The chair is not really a good place to search, but nonetheless, let's just take a look. Nothing here. And let's take a look. Who's the guy which is going to exit the bus? It is Mark Ranek. Let's just speak to the guy if I can. Uh, is this guy from the apartment too? No, it is Jacob Manishek. So might as well go in there. No, don't, don't knock. My mistake. Don't knock. Just get, get in there. There is nobody for now, so I might as well just go and check the... Let's check the bookshelf. And find a bunch of proof against him. Nothing here. Let's just check the... Cozy armchair here. Alright, nothing here. There's a little table. Oh, we've got a bunch. Uh, let's just take a look. Here we go. And let's just search the bed as well. So we've got a, quite a, a proof here. So he's making a drug. And I might want to buy a little camera here. Let's go with the second one. And let's just put it in there so I can maybe spot him doing things which are going to be forbidden. Alright, here we go. And let's take a look at what's happening here. So I've got... Yes, I was speaking about the directive number 6039. We've got apples which are going to be forbidden. So basically, uh, you can definitely plant an apple somewhere and just make them a rest. It's not going to be very uh, very nice, but you can definitely do it if somebody is just threatening you or something like that. So for now, I cannot really do much. I'm going to spoke to that guy. I think they, they are making him just walk around to give us a bit more time to search his apartment. He could have come back with, uh, with the bus. So, hi, you allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I am the new building manager. Did I win the competition of... <laughs> okay, he's not really... Uh, he's not really a nice guy, so... At first, you don't really... seem not to be really likable, so you don't really care. There is a trader here, and let's take a look at what he's got for me. Okay, so does he have... Yes, he does have aspirin. I'm going to buy it already, but... Okay, I don't have enough money. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to sell a bunch of things. I've got a bunch of things at my home. I can sell these. I don't really care but I need to take the aspirin for something very important later on okay I might want to take anything and sell it because I just need enough money to do it okay take all I just take a bit more I, I just don't want to let him go because aspirin is not available each day I just take it all I don't know if they are going to actually react to this Let's go and talk to the guy. See how much I can extract from this junk. Okay, let's see. So I want to sell it all. Let's just take a look at my inventory. It's not really pricey, but it is going to sell maybe well enough so I can buy the aspirin. Why was it? Okay, good. And I'll keep it in my office for later on. just to be safe. Alright. It's better to be cautious with that. And I need to check on my friendly. So you see, at some point it's going to do something which is going to be illegal and I will be able to record the evidence. I just need to click on the action which is going to happen. It needs to be green. And you know what, I don't really see him right now. I'm just going to try to take a peek here to see if I can actually get him in when he's doing that all right please do it again so you can you can blackmail this guy if you are 
efficient enough and we give you a bit of money so it's going to take a lunch and I'm going to take advantage of this to maybe check a bunch more things in there I don't have enough to buy another camera yet but I could, I could retrieve these these cameras are not really useful these are useful to actually where is it going? know where they are going but frankly this would be more useful in houses than here we'll just buy more plus it's very easy to install these here it's not the case when you are going into apartment and stuff here we go, let's just advance because there is only one cam here, it's not really... okay, strange I'm going to make another one somewhere else. There seems to be living the apartment here. I'm going to do the same here. Okay, everything is fine here. Let's just take a look. And let's get in. So, I might want to put it at the back here. They tend to do things next to these things. I cannot... Ah, wrong camera here. Anyway. Still cannot get this action here. Strange. I should be. Anyway, let's go back to the. Um, I need to call it the ministry. My mistake. Let's just go for it. All right. The other number. Report a task ministry. Okay, here we go. Congratulations. Your first task was a success. Was a success. You are rewarded. Uh, so we got 500 bucks and 50 reputation points. And according to our source, Jacob Manishek is violating state directives. Uh, spy on him using the surveillance camera when a camera detects a tenant. Oh, it was not working because it was not the right time, that's all. So, something illegal is action. I can change color and we're going to be able to click on it to, to record it. Okay, so it's going to give me the info very soon. I might want to check uh, what's happening here. Oh, so I, I do remember this thing. So this is when you are going to write profile, you are going to get money, it's going to be recorded here. So it's not uh, going to be used all the time. It's just to to check that everything is working fine. Because when you are re recording something uh, in a bad way, you can make mistake when you uh, re report stuff. And you are going to be fine if you do so. So you need to be careful. Uh, so we've got uh, a bit of daily news, which is going to give us... Um, let's say, an insight of what's going to happen in the country and how things are going to escalate. It's And you've got also other things which are going to be just behind the news, which are going to give you another side of the, of the thing. Okay, let's just take a look at my buddy here. We need to gather a bunch of proofs. proofs and, okay, it's coming my way. I might want to say hello to Klaus. Whenever it's possible. Oh, Patrick is there, I might want to talk to my son also at some point. Okay, let's talk to Klaus here. Hello. Let's say hello. My name is Karl, I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Schimmer. Uh, you'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager had already turned in, into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. And let's ask about the apartment. Did the house belong to you? That's right, it used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children, but it was converted into a residence all instead. This isn't so bad, you haven't seen the living quarter on level D. You're right, your house station could be worse, at least we are free. One can play chess, let's just call that. Oh, my mistake. So we, we've been learning that. I'm pretty sure if we just check on the guy, we will see that he liked to play chess. And we can report it, but not right, right, oh, look at that. Here we go, we've got a new evidence. And what I'm going to do, I might, I could just report it directly to the, um, to the state. But I'm not going to do so. I'm going to uh, blackmail the guy so I can get a bit of money. So we are speaking about apartment too, so I need to be careful. So I'm going to do that about uh, Jacob Manishek. Uh, it's going to be apartment too. He has been violating the directive number. Let's just take a look here. 
6040. So let's just take a look here from the 2 September. Here we go, and we need to drag the evidence. So let's just go with that here. And let's blackmail the guy so we can get a bit of money. Meanwhile, I'm going to make a little report, uh, a little profile, my mistake, about Jacob Manishek. We're going to uh, fill it properly. He's living alone. Uh, and what is he doing? I don't remember. He's unemployed. Okay, let's go with that here. And I just collect this information and put it in my logs. Uh, am I doing this all right? I think so. So now we've got a little award here for the for the profile. Let's go back here and let's see if the guy is going to pay. I'm not sure. Let's just check. So where was it? I must gather more evidence because I can actually just. Um, get the evidence twice, so I can report him. Oh, he likes to drink. So did I get it? I think so. Let's just take a look. Yes, no, I don't. I was too late. Let's just speak to the trader. Here we go, let's see. What does he have for us? He's got a bit more aspirin, which is good. And... Oh, books are... In Proving in price. Is it already forbidden to read? I'm just going to check because um, the price of objects tend to, 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 to change as they get illegal. It's going to be uh, costing a bit more. So, um, production of drug is prohibited. Uh, singing in front of the ministry is prohibited. Let's see. Uh, no, books are still allowed. But why is it so expensive? I don't know. Oh, we've got somebody which is which like to play music, and I just check again again. Okay, so here he is. It's going to do something forbidden, and I don't. Sh I'm going to check because usually they are just dropping the money into the the flower pot here, and here he is paying. So all good for us. And now I'm going to make something even more despicable. We're going to just report him because it is a quest, but it was. Uh, was taking the 1000 bucks because we're going to need plenty of money as we're going to progress. Uh, so let's just report the guy. Write a report. We're going to go and go with Jacob, Jacob Manishak from the apartment 2, uh, which has valid to the. Um, I think it was this one. I'm just going to check. Uh, yes, it is. So from the 2 September, let's just uh, drag the evidence and take care of him. So the Ministry is going to reward me as well. Alright. And now... Oh, let's get some evidence as well. I might uh, want to do something quickly. Let's just uh, profile the tenant. I'm going to go with Jacob Manishak, apartment 2, male, marital status, live alone, uh, unemployed, and let's go and... Uh, let's just... Uh, I cannot do it. No, I put nothing on him. Okay, so the police is going to get him. And we'll be accomplishing our first task. So for that guy, it's not that difficult because he's not really friendly. But some people are going to be very nice to you and you will not be likely to sell them to the government. And it's going to maybe make you um, go into a bit of trouble so we need to be careful about this let's just see so here's the guy going we need to buy a bunch more cameras uh, another gri gripe I've got with the game is that you don't have so much tools you've got the cameras and basically that's all you can get okay and as I'm going to arrest him we should get a little card box which is going to be next to the house of the game and we can retrieve pretty much. I didn't know that on my first one. It's quite a waste because there's plenty of of things to recover. It's going to give you plenty of money to to prevent you from dying. So let's just take it all. And uh, we'll need to repair the apartment to be able to put more more cams. It is al also something which I find to be strange because when you're going to repair the apartment, you are not going to be able to enter it. It would be the perfect time to put the cameras. So. Let's just repair the apartment and put somebody in there. 
going to be quite quick to do. And let's just move somebody else like Alisus Spack, which has quite an interesting storyline. Just rent it to the guy. And um, let's see, do we have people in there? Not so much, but somebody's coming back, so let's just be careful. And I need to call the ministry to. Yes, let's do it already. I should also talk to my family as soon as possible. So let's just dial the number, report, report task to the ministry. Congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. So we've got a bit more reputation and a bit more money. It's going to enable us to buy a bit more cameras. The, this one are just much better than any other one, so it's a bit of a waste to buy these. Still, you might want to sell the, the old one. Uh, even if you're dying. Okay, I did not read the previous line, but I need to apply the directive of the ministry, so I need to go. Okay, people which are going to break the law, I need to get rid, rid of them. And they are asking me to, to make a survey on my tenant, which I call the streamer. And I need to find out what other people think of them. I will need to speak to other people and get more information about them. I've got also a task here, so let's talk to my wife here. Uh, what Carla? So, what about the domestic problem here? I need your help, Honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. Uh, so I search every nook and cranny and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan. Don't even think of this. You must have left it in your old house. In our old house. If you say so, can you ask the tenant about the saucepan? I will. I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compote for Marta and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about the uh, saucepan. Let's do that. I'm going to speak to my daughter here, Marta. Will you play with me? Not no, Marta. Uh, let's speak about the lost toy. What happened with it? Uh, something bad happened, Dad. I lost Nair Nair Naira. It's nowhere to be found. Who's Naira? It's my doll. It's my third doll, lad. Will you help me find it? Uh, you scared me, Marta. Where did you last play with it? At home, Naira is too small to walk outside. Find her, please. I think she's maybe under this bed. Not completely sure, though. No, she's not. Maybe under this one? I need to speak to my son as well. Uh, not here. Let's just take a look here. I will need to find a to sell the stuff on my old tenant here. And let's just take a look. Oh, where is she? I don't remember. She might not be far though. Not here. Maybe in there. There is also a little billboard over there. Okay, not here. Where is it? I don't know if it is randomized or anything. Oh, here she is. Let's talk to my daughter and give her a uh, doll back. Uh, talk about the doll. Here it is. Alright. <laughs> it's a bit dark. Okay, let's go and speak to my son. I will also need to say hello to the new neighbor. Uh, no, I'm not yet ready about this. Uh, where is my son? Patrick, here he is. His father. Uh, do you need anything? I have an issue, father. What do you want? Economics classic class have started and we are given a list of books to read. Uh, the book I need for school. I, st I stopped by the bookstore and they don't have these books. I heard I could get used, used one at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends, perhaps someone you know has these books? You talk to wise people. I am thinking about what I can do for you. So let's just take a look first. Thing first, I'm going to speak to the... No, not Anna. Alois Alo Spack here is going to be... Uh, let's meet him. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl the Landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. Alois Spack, a physician. You must have heard about me, the entire city did. I'm going to say that I, I never heard of, it, of you. Or I could maybe... Ah, let's go with the first one. Really? Did you just get here? 
what are you famous for? I'm not one to pat myself on the back, I was just doing my duty. Let me know if you need anything. What problem could I possibly have? Nothing. You are very busy. And let's ask him uh, how is it going. Are you okay? Busy, busy, busy. Passion fight with me. Are you a doctor? That's the real one. Don't you doubt it. I'm always wondering if he's really a doctor. Anyway, can cure even a healthy man. He seems to be doing a bit too much. Any education? Are you kidding? I dedicated my life to treating people. Your debt hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you dear? Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. Okay, he gave me a bit of whiskey. And let's just talk to Gay one more time. Ask him about Klaus Schimmer so we can get a bit more information. Dear Escal, I'm happy to see you. How are you doing? And how is the family? Everything is fine, thanks. I wanted to ask you about. So much joy, what? That's a rare thing nowadays. I'm soothing myself, Alexis. Uh, I'm here to talk about. It. I will never get any information about that, yeah. You can keep. Okay, let's just. Let him. He don't really care, anyway. He will never tell me anything. He don't know them, anyway. Let's just keep going. I just. Oh, I learned something. Anyway. Let's just speak to... Okay, I was about to take a look at my neighbors. I need to check what their profession are. So, I've got the Shima, which are professors. So, I've got a tobacco salesman and a, um, a literature teacher. I'm looking for economics. Oh, objective uh, has been received. Let's just take a look. Um, it was over there. So now, books are legal. Looked by Paul Williams. There's always plenty of things which are going to happen here. I've been talking to my wife, daughter and son, and Anna wants to borrow a part for the, from the neighborhood, uh, neighbors. And I need to find an economics book, an economic book for Patrick. Okay, let's go around. I still need to gather evidence on my neighbors. There is so many things which are happening which is, it's not always easy at the beginning to actually see everything. So let's just take a look. I don't really know what's happening in there. Let's just check if there is anybody in there. I'm going to knock because sometimes it's not that easy to see if there is anybody in these apartments. Ah, there is somebody. Uh, I don't really care about him. I'm just going to speak to the trader and sell a bunch of things so we can actually buy stuff if we need to. So I've got plenty of, of things. I'm going to keep the whiskey, but I can sell the razor, the gums, the books, the dice. And plenty of other thing. Might want to keep the. Bro nah, I'm going to sell the broken bottle. I will find more empty bottles. Uh, records. There's plenty of things to sell here. Might also want to sell to keep a bunch of things, but I'm going to sell these all for now. Okay, so I've got a bit of money now to do stuff, and let's go around. So I was looking for a book. For Patrick, I might want to speak to uh, Mrs. Shima. Where is she? Oh, I'm going to speak to Rosa Renek here. I did not meet her previously. So, hello, Miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl, the new building manager. My name is Rosa Renek. It's nice to meet you. You must have met my naughty husband. Uh, we have a son too, he's just like you, but he lives in the capital. So let's ask about the saucepan. Do you have a large saucepan, Miss? My wife left us at our old house and our daughter is asking for a compote. No, dear, my husband and I I have lived alone for many years. We don't need anything large. I took everything to, to the second hand shop a long time ago. Okay, let's just ask about her son. Why not? Our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time, so long ago. Let's ask her about her husband. Mark has been working in the archive his entire life, so he might be the guy I need to speak to. He likes his job, he deals with a lot of pepper, but not many people. He spends his vacation in, his, in the company of his fishing rod. Okay, so let's just ask now about Klaus Schimmer. She seems to be pretty chatty. So I want to ask you about Klaus Schimmer. Do, does he bother you? He's a person of wars. He helped me to acquire a nice bottle of Xeres. 
He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. All right, let's just speak to people. Uh, who do I want to speak to now? Everybody seems to be sleeping now. Might want to write a bunch of reports. The night is my realm a bit. Oh, we've got the Renek are not home. Might want to plant a camera in there. Is there anybody in there? Not so much, just knock a bit. I don't have so much time. Okay, let's get in there. Okay, we've got a bit of time. Let's just um, plant the camera here. Here we go. Still have a bit more time, let's just plant another one here. The more cameras, the better. Always. Here we go, let's get out of here. Plus the camera is staying. If you are just appearing in an apartment, you can keep the camera in. Let's just buy more. I might want to keep a bit of reputation just in case. And uh, I need to speak to the shimmer, so I might want to actually knock. Let's see, are they in there? Yes, they are. They are very close to the door. Let's just knock. Let's speak to the guy, Klaus. Hello. Um, ask you about ask him about books for Patrick. You're an educated person, Klaus. Where can I find textbook on economics? The university gave my son a, little, a list of books to read, but none of the store carries them. The library is an option, but the line is always really long. How the issue with the library is well known to me. It's not just the line. The library worker also have to like you. Otherwise, they'll send you away without any explanation. But I can help you. I have books from when I worked for the counting bureau. I'd be happy if it is help your son study. Everyone should pursue a higher education. Too bad few people agree. So we've got now the books required. And Klaus is quite a decent fellow. Okay, but my wallet too. Okay, let's just... Um, Ask about the saucepan. Do you have a saucepan suitable for making a compote? We'd better talk to my wife, Maria. I don't know anything about household issue or dishware. I have to work in a tobacco shop now. The selling are so low, I have to tilt my head. I used to work as a senior economist, so they are long gone. Okay. I'll speak to him about some other thing later on. I just talk to his wife for a sec. Let's see about the saucepan. Can you do me a favor? I, can I borrow your saucepan? My wife wants to make a compote, which we lost our saucepan while moving in. I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. So these guys are really, really nice. I cannot possibly um, make trouble to them. So there is no need for this. My husband and I live alone and we don't touch this. Please accept this as, a, as my housewarming gift. They are really, really nice people. Let's go and, and meet uh, with my wife. She should be around. I need to add a bunch of cameras here. There she is. So, talked about the saucepan here. So, have you found a saucepan, Carl? I've prepared everything for the compote. Yes, Maria Shimmer from the apartment one saved us. Spare no sugar for the compote. <laughs> it looked like what a last time. It looked like water because we have neither sugar nor apple. It might be an issue. It's not my fault that you couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Syrup, sweetheart, now we have enough sugar. Okay, let's speak to Patrick when I can. Where is he? He might be at the university. Okay, is he coming back? I might want to talk also to, to that guy here. Uh, do we have anybody in there? But even though I don't really intend to spy on these guys because they are quite friendly, I can still add a bunch of cameras for later on. Okay, nobody in there. I'm going to maybe put a bunch more in apartment too because I've got plenty of things to do with Alois Aloistius. I never really know how to say his name anyway. So where is my kid? Seems not to be here. Might want to write a bunch of reports to make a bit more money. 
report can be not really that dangerous, you're just writing their liking. Their liking. Okay, so let's see, what do we have? Got things about uh, Mark Ranek, nothing else here. So let's just, I might want to keep the report for later on. I've got Patrick, which is over there. And I might want to plant a bunch of camera into Lois' house as he's going to walk. So let's talk about the books. Have you found out anything about the books, Father? Here are your books. Oh, I'll get to walk. I've never ever dreamed of such a world. Might not go to the rat nest after all. His, his biggest fear is to go to the mine, and it is not a. It's not for nothing. The mine are dreadful. The library, I'm in. Okay, let's go. Let's enter Alistair's apartment. Here we go, and let's just plant a bunch of cameras here. I don't think we need to get enough of these, but I can still try. Do we have any other? No, we don't. And do I want to? No, I'm not going to search the apartment for now. I might, I might want to do that, just to get a bunch of proof. It's not coming now, so I've got a bit of time. And my last quest is going to take me a bit of time, but not too much. So I will need to talk to Mark Ranek. What do I have here? Do you have any information? All right. I'll just take a look at another thing. Get more information about that guy. I know it is not the guy I need to gather information about, but still it is useful. Plus I'm getting repetition point as I'm doing so. Stamp album, he seems to be interested in stamp as well. I'll just take one last look here if I got the time. As he's going to probably come back soon. You can speed up the time, but I tend not to do it. It is already going fast enough. So I do have enough for one camera. I'm going to talk to Mark. And I've got a quest with Aloysius. So where do you want from? The archivist. Let's say hello first. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the building. Mark Renek is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything in, in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. Okay, let's take a look. Let's just speak about Klaus. So I want to ask you about Klaus Schimmer. Why do you want to know? Uh, do I want to tell the truth? I'm not sure. I might want to tell the truth, I think. I'm, I'm not completely sure, but I think uh, Mark Renek is... No, I, I'm not going to just... I'm just going to give a vague reply here. I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is the real sinner. I don't want to put this guy in trouble. I had a co-worker who was always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. Ask what happened to him. He was sent to jail. Okay, you've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, human. Let's just talk to the doctor here. Hello. So, what about Aloysius Solitude here? Do you want to talk? I have a request, a very pr private one. I am all here, Aloysius. Uh, due to the demand of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24-7 is my civic duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me, but I'm very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing, and every inch of my extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. And what can I do? Get you some deodorant? <laughs> uh, your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know how to, uh, a lot about dealing with women. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. She'd be a good woman to have in the bedroom and kitchen. Okay, it's not really at ease. Well, let's see. I just I'm just going to keep these quick. And we've got plenty of things. So first thing first, I need to talk to Shima wife. And then I think the government's going to call me and ask me to do dreadful things. Probably. Okay, I will just wait for, for tomorrow, I think. Oh, here she is. Perfect. Hello. Ask about the husband. 
It's always your husband doing. He, he looked upset. He doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of a film. Uh, Klaus likes taking photo. This will cheer him up. Okay. So I've got all the information I need here. And let's just take a look at the mission here. So I've got new directives. And let's just. Uh, so I must profile Klaus Schimmer. I've got 47 hours to do so. And I need to fix uh, the problem of Aloysius. But first, let's go down there and make a profile here. Here we go. So let's be careful. I don't want to make any mistakes. So we're going to speak about uh, Klaus Schimmer, which is a tenant of the apartment number number one. It is a male character, which is going to live, which is living with Mara Schimmer, and is a tobacco salesman. And what kind of information do we have? We, are, we know that he loves to play chess. Is smoking pipe. He likes to he like wine, and he likes to take pictures. So it's going to give us quite a bit of money. There we go. And as I'm here, I'm going to profile whoever I can. At the same time, it's going to give us a bit of money. So let's go with Mara Shima. She's living obviously in the same apartment. She's a female. She's going to be. She's married to Klaus, she, and she's a literature teacher. And let's go with that. It would be handy to have the number of the apartment on this um, on this file as well, as it is often necessary to go back and check in which apartment they are and stuff. Especially when you got more tenants than that, and that should be all. I think I did not make any mistake. Hopefully, I don't want to be fined. And let's just take a look. Do we have any other info to, uh, on anybody? No, we've got a bunch of info on Aloysius. So, which apartment is he living in? Number two, of course. So, let's. Oh, wrong. Here is. I need to speak to somebody. Is living alone. Is a doctor, and he like uh, to walk out, and he collect stamp. Here we go. Let's leave the place. I need to speak to my woman here, and uh, she wants chocolate candy. I talk with our neighbors. Carl, they really nice. I was told the man in top at walk near yes this is a trader you can buy something from him what an antique i don't have enough time enough things listen to me first to never listen to what i tell you don't get so steamed i didn't want to offend you you're the master of bringing people down uh, sometimes i think i live with what did you say about the trader <laughs> the say is selling new household supplies the old woman on the second floor showed me the perfume soap she brought from him last month. I don't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at our other useful item. Okay, do we need soap? We have an entire box of coal tar soap. It's, there is, I think, a mistake. I bought with our ration card. Yeah, <laughs> unbearable card. Okay, I need to bring chocolate, that's all. And I need to, to buy a bunch of sweet for, for Marta. There we go. So, I might want to talk about the walk as well. Just to see if there is anything. So, I saw the police march, an handcuffed person right by me. It's frightened me. Who, who was that, Carl? The previous building manager, he didn't handle his duty well. What a nightmare. Carl, couldn't the same thing happen to you? Don't worry, honey, I'll be a good manager. So, the, the beginning of the game is, is pretty. It's working very, very well, but there is a bunch of things which are happening as you progress. Uh, the, um, the game tends not to notice when you lose people. If you lose your son or your or your wife or your or your or your daughter, um, it's going to sometimes just um, say strange things. It's going to maybe assume that they are not dead or other things. It's a bit strange at the end. Still, it's working pretty well. If you just don't pay attention to that. Uh, so let's see, we need to find a bunch of things. So there is too many things in the inventory, so it's going to be a bit more difficult, but we want to buy a bit of chocolate and maybe a few sweets. Do we have any here? 
actually don't. Oh, yes, we do have a bit. Yeah. All right. What game was this? Hello, it's just. Nah. I'm going to speak to Rosa, I think. I need to speak to her a bit. So, we'll talk about Spack Loneliness. Do you have a dignified lady for a doctor in apartment 2? I have a niece who's excellent marriage, Matilda. She's as smart and beautiful as I was in my youth. Alas, she doesn't live in our city. I can send her a telegram and invite her to my place. Let him come, I'll introduce her to him. And let's just end this conversation here. And I can talk to the game a bit for a sec. Talk about loneliness. Any preference who would like to meet? Anyone. <laughs> I found a, a girlfriend for you. Who is she? Uh, Rosa Renek, niece. I can't wait to meet her, so she would be she should visit her aunt soon. And so as we're going to progress like that, we're going to discover more and more about these neighbors. Good and bad. Let's speak to Marta. Uh, ask about candy. Your mom asked me to buy you some sweet. She she said she'd never eaten anything like this before I'm waiting for you to buy them. My mommy will give me one each time I have a tea. Uh, can I give her to her? I think I need to give it to my wife first. And she will give it to, to Martha when she can. Oh, they are speaking about the niece. And how here she is. So talk about the sweet for Martha. Are you once again not satisfied with anything? I just asked you to buy chocolate for our little one. I didn't even ask for a bar of strawberry perfume soap for myself. I should have just found that. I bought I bought sweet, but they didn't have the soap for you wanted. I bought sweet cow, thank you. I'm full of worries this day. When I close my eyes, I can see those bulls leading the previous those bullies leading the previous building manager out of the, by the nose. Break my heart to think of you being in his place. Anna, purge this thought of your mind. I'll be fine, you're not being silly, right? I'll do a good job. What if the previous manager had thoughts like this too? Well, it's time to go back to work. Truly. So let's just buy a bunch more cameras. I'm going to put one here as well, just in case you don't really see them well, but there is a bunch. So let's just... Bring these... In order, I will need to add another one here. There is a second spot here as well. All right, and let's take a look. Uh, I might want to repair a bunch more apartment, but I don't want to miss any opportunity with these guys because some tenant tend not to be uh, staying very long. They, they might just spend a bunch of days here and leave, and you want to exploit every opportunity they are going to give you, so you can make enough money to deal with any trouble which would come your way because for now it seems to be pretty easy but as we are going to progress as i was saying before it's going to be a bit tougher and dreadful thing are going to happen and it's going to just um it's going to be a bunch of things very very dreadful which are going to happen on my first game nobody survived i was just alone in my apartment and nobody that and nobody was alive Okay, let's just uh, talk to Sarah Watermart, which seems to be maybe the niece of our dear neighbors. Hello, ask what she's doing here. What do you want? Hello, I'm Sarah Watermart, the Renek niece. I'm here to meet the doctor. I have nowhere to stay, so I'll be living here. In which apartment does Aloysius live? I can't let you go to Aloysius yet, but we need to talk first. Stay here. Where would I go? I have nowhere to stay. Okay, let's just speak to the guy. He should be down there. Or maybe he's at work. I'm not sure. No, he's not here. Oh, I've got the quest here. With Let's just speak to my wife. What, Carla? Learn about what happened. What happened? Marta is sick, Carla, and we have no medicine at home. Can you find some aspirin for, your, for our girl? I waited in line forever only to find out I need a prescri prescription here. Of course, I'll find him. Okay, let's just take a look at what I can do. I've got already a few things in my desk. I felt that this is the first time, so I, I was pretty aware I would need these at some point. Uh, 
here we go and what? come on was it not? now it is whiskey and chocolate and I've got nothing in the desk oh come on is it possible that somebody just stole it? or maybe I sold it to the, to the merchant that was selling all the stuff I got seems strange I've got only 28 hours to get this so I will need to wait for the for the merchant and let's just knock is there somebody in there? I should have kept these with me it is quite important no, there is nobody in there is Aloysius here? yes here he is let's talk to the guy as soon as I can I cannot go that far, I think. Here we go. Ah, uh, yes, I can. I can go that far. I think there is a quest which is going to bring us throughout this age. So, mention the woman at the door. There's a woman on your doorstep. She says she came to see you. Really? That's strange, but let's see. I'm going to speak together. I will speak about the aspirin a bit later on. Just to see if you can get me a prescription or something. Instead, I would not be in time for the. Hey buddy, oh it's a bit, I will just knock in a, in a few, let's just speed up a bit the time. There we go, a new directive has been received. So let's just take a look. Um, soda is now forbidden, foreign currency is also forbidden. And books, all the books. So you can find pretty a pretty huge amount of people which are going to be... And there is something I need to do. I need to close the ministry, of course, but not only. I'm not going to knock now. She's going to come and I want to speak to Aloysius. Okay, let's just close the ministry here and see what I can do here. So let's tell the number here. Report task. Ministry of Order. It's time to act, Comrade Karl. You must evict Klaus Schimmer. And let's ask about uh, eviction methods here. How can I evict Shimmer? Dog with Shimmer would be fine with him moving out. Okay. It would be better if you report him when he violates our directives. This is at your duty, Comrade Carla. Okay, ask about Shimmer wife. What will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. Okay, so I'm pretty free to do that. It's not always the case. Sometimes they are going to be pissed if you don't do the right thing. And reading should be for the now thing. No, maybe not reading, just only books. Uh, let's just speak to Klaus. Or maybe... I'm just going to do that quickly and, and we'll just take a look at what option we'll have. Hey Klaus, I've got an issue. You are, you are really friendly, you are quite a nice guy. I don't want to evict you. Uh, ask what you need. Tell me straight, Skull, did you receive an assignment to spy on me? Let's just tell him about it. You must be more careful, Comrade Kills. I'll get right to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the building. What? They want to evict me from my apartment. That's unthinkable. If I could, I, I, I would have left this pocket hole a long time ago. Well, my problem shouldn't bother you. Uh, thanks for the warning. What are you going to do? Offer help. Let's just offer him a bit of help. I want to help you, even though it's going to be against the ministry, kind of. Uh, I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? Uh, let's just insist on talking. I'm not asking out of curiosity. I want to help you. I'm being injured. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my trouble. I, I was sent to the tobacco shop, to that tiny wooden booth near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate without it. I'm stuck here, you understand? What's an absentee certificate? You should know such a thing, Carl. This is a document you need to either enter the strategic facilities or leave the city. R railway stations, ports, roads with checkpoints are all close to me. Uh, so why don't you take it? You won't believe me. I received a response from the ministry. The documents were sent to the archive for the data updates. They said I could obtain them there. I went to the archive and they said that there is there are no, no document left. I spent a week in the line to see an inspector about submitting a de detection application. Two months later, I was told I'd used the wrong form for my application and they were out of the one I needed. 
damn it. Min the document are lost in the archives. Yes, the document are in the archives. They say it's a ploy to drive visitors crazy. I don't know if, it, if that's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There is nothing we can do about the archives. Okay, so I need to find a way to retrieve these things. Fortunately, we've got somebody which is walking in the archive in the building. But guys, I'm not going to go much further with this video. We've been seeing most of the basic mechanics, I think. And if you like it, just tell me I will just play a bit more. It's a really, really cool game. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. If you do, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Have fun!